Hello world, hello friends. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where we talk all about tech and travel. Today I am in Zagreb at this awesome little spa. This is a private sauna and hot tub. What? I'm gonna take you through a weekend in my life of being somewhat productive, but not really, as a software engineer. While I chill around this cute spa in Zagreb, I wanted to share with you why I decided to become fully remote, as well as talk about the return to office, especially at big tech companies, and the processes involved in becoming fully remote. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. If you're new to my channel, I'm Delia, and in 2021, I became a fully remote software engineer working on Gmail, the back end in C++ to be specific. I get a lot of questions about working remote over on Instagram. I wanted to clear some of those questions up in this video and talk about going fully remote while I take you through a weekend in my life at this cool spot, which is actually a campsite in Zagreb. If you have any more questions about remote work, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And if you watch to the end, you'll also find out what type of cool technology I'm going to Las Vegas to go try out and you'll see me break my drone somewhere in this video so that's fun. I feel sniffly today and I have this beautiful thing from Thailand. That is like my drug. Highly recommend these. <laughs> I forget what they're called but they're great. Now we're gonna do a very quick workout just so I feel like I did something today. I'm so sad I broke a drone propeller. All right, time for a quick workout. Got my AirPods, let's go. Now I'm not gonna lie, in the last few months I was the kind of person to work on weekends, mainly because I needed to ramp up on C++, but now I try really hard not to work on weekends, only work out or work on my personal projects, only fun work on weekends. And since it's the weekend, I'm gonna go get my hair done because I deserve it after a long productive week. And one of the best ways I keep myself productive is to reward myself when I stick to my schedule or reach milestones. And I finished a big milestone at work this week. So we're getting hair done, nails done, everything did. All right, so I just got my hair done. It was so funny because they made me blow dry it and do part of it myself. <laughs> Welcome to Croatia. So now I'm heading back to the camp. I'm really, really excited to show you this camp. Check it out. So welcome to Camp Zagreb. Okay, I'm sorry. This place is magical. Look at this. I am obsessed right now. Hot tub with a lake view. This is a water bed. Are you ready? Do you hear that? It's so sick. Wishy. What the heck, right? Look at the bed move. Oh my God. This is so crazy. There's also, well, this nice patio, but a private sauna. What? Whoa. Let's go outside. And you can also rent that boat right there, which would be fun to do. Yay. Okay, but did I show you the hot tub though? have this little desk set up right next to the hot tub and you can be so efficient and just jump right into the hot tub. Okay, hold on. So cool. Okay, okay, just when I thought that this place couldn't get any better, there is a cat here. It's a restaurant cat because there's a restaurant downstairs, but just wait, okay? You know I will be luring it. Bribing her with salami is always the way to go. Okay, but why am I here feeding a cat salami in Europe and showing you this cool spa place when I'm actually based out of Canada? Well, I'm actually here on a layover, but I was allowed to work from Europe for over half of this year. 
so why wouldn't I? The cost of living in Canada has become absolutely ridiculous, and for that same money, I can enjoy a much better lifestyle somewhere like Croatia. Now, I never thought Google would be the kind of company that would allow me to work from a different country for so long, and they're typically not. If I wanted to work from Europe forever, I would have to get salary adjustments, transfer offices, and do a whole bunch of complicated things. But because I have an EU passport, I got a work exemption through a very long HR process to be able to work from Europe, which is still pretty awesome compared to a lot of other companies. Since things have slowly gotten back to normal, most tech companies had returned to office, and so did we. Because we are having return to office, and it's a whole event, as you can see. I personally will not be returning to the office because because I am fully remote, and I will let you know why that is. <laughs> but most Googlers are returning to the office for three times a week, it's a hybrid thing. And as you can see, they bring you here with free sunglasses and free food and all of the perks. And so I was let's like, mm, I'm not doing that. As much as I love the office and it has all these cool things which are designed to keep you there as long as possible, I also do love the freedom of work from home and would never give that up for any company as much as I may love them. So if you happen to be in the same boat but still want to work at a big tech company, it's totally possible now, thanks to all the new policies, most of which exist across a lot of tech companies now. But I will say it was very difficult to do and there are a ton of restrictions, which we'll talk about in a sec. When I first applied to be fully remote back in early 2021, I was actually rejected and I almost quit my job, but instead I researched and worked hard to switch to a team which is more likely to approve these requests. Your role, team, and tenure make such a big difference because then I got approved for fully remote super fast. So I switched roles from Google Cloud to Gmail and let me tell you, it's way more chill. Though I remain working on infrastructure which is always stressful and hard to manage, now I'm building test infrastructure and in my previous role in Google Cloud, I was helping developers with their infrastructure. And let me tell you, infrastructure is hard to manage. So that's why it helps to get other people to do the things that you don't want to do. And that's where our sponsor comes in. With Gcore, you can focus on the business code while they take care of infrastructure. With CDN, DDoS protection, DNS storage, streaming and security all in one place. They also offer everything from bare metal servers and virtual machines, as well as platform services like managed Kubernetes and functions as a service, all based on the latest generation of third generation Intel Xeon processors. They are anywhere from 30 to 70% more affordable than the big three cloud providers and deliver services all around the globe with low latency and high scalability. A global response time of only 20 to 30 milliseconds or even three to five milliseconds in some regions. So whether you're building the next big startup or just looking for an affordable place to back up your data, you can rely on Gcore Modern Cloud Platform to deploy and scale at a lower cost. So check it out in the link in the description. And now back to the video. So now only do we now have the option to apply to become fully remote, but in response to the rising request for a remote work from anywhere caused by the pandemic, Google now implemented these remote work weeks where all employees can easily work from anywhere in the world for a month, which you can also split up into separate weeks. So if you're strategic, you can make it last quite a while. Of course, you do need to be legally allowed to work from that location and have manager approval. I can make a whole separate video on how this works. It also totally depends on your manager. For example, my last manager legitimately told me, I don't really care where you work from as long as you get your work done. And I think that's the correct attitude to have as a big business. And I don't I don't know about you, but I'd rather be working from a patio in Mexico than from any office. And I've actually noticed I'm more productive working from home or from any of these remote locations than I am from the office where I'm distracted by people and perks. So let me know if you feel the same way in the comments because it can't just be me who finds offices to be less productive than remote work. But to clarify, remote work, at least at these big tech companies that have a lot of restrictions, means fully remote in the sense that you never need to come into the office, but it doesn't mean you can work from anywhere whenever you want. There are still restrictions on that and technically you need to go through HR or through manager approvals in order to do that, which is what I did. So it's flexible, but also depends on your role and tenure. And if I didn't have tenure and if I wasn't a software engineer, it would definitely be way harder to swing any of this. But nonetheless, it's still totally possible. So if that's your dream, then definitely go for it. And the best part of being able to work remotely, especially at a big tech company, is that you can still go to the office whenever you feel like it. I recently started a mission to visit Google offices all over the world, so stay tuned for that. But I also decided to visit Ikea's all over the world. All right, we have arrived at 
my favorite attraction in all of Zagreb, Ikea. Just pretending I live here. I love the vibes of this camp and it's a nice escape from reality and a change in scenery and environment always helps boost my productivity. Speaking of changes in scenery and escapes from reality, I flew to Vegas with my work besties to try some crazy new VR technology. So in the next video, we'll be questioning the nature of reality and debating if life is a computer simulation while vacationing with my favorite Google software engineers. Stay tuned for that. All right, that's it guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in more tech and travel content, make sure that you like this video. That would be really helpful for me. And consider subscribing for more videos as well as turning on the bell notification so you don't miss any. I will see you in the next one. Bye.